Alright, I'm gonna go straight into this. Nintendo kicked some stuff in pineapples, and I don't know how to start this, but they did some Muppets. Okay, um, this is a discussion of E3, the digital event of 2015. Nintendo just happened. Like, I, I, we, it seriously, like, just ended, like, maybe 15 hours ago. But, oh my god. It did end, like, 15 hours ago. Okay. We missed it. <laughs> we, we missed it. It's... And there was a bunch of stuff. It was actually pretty short. I'm here with Brawl 10 Gaming. Uh, Golden Eye is missing from Rare Replay Collection. I just read that off of the site. I don't know. And uh, there was a lot of stuff, and some exciting stuff, and some stuff that could have happened, and a lot of disappointments. Uh, I'll just start it off. It started off with uh, s some Muppets. Last year, they did, like, Robot Chicken. That was funny. This one scared me. Yeah, that was just straight up creepy. This pops up with Iwata, all Muppety and furry. She comes out dancing and then finds his... Directly di di He did the hand motions. He was practicing. And then he finds... Re I'm gonna put up a picture of what Reggie was doing as soon as he walked in. It's pretty disturbing. Uh, then he finds Miyamoto and all that. And they, they, they start turning into Star Fox characters. And that was just nightmares. Uh, and then they showed footage, finally, of Star Fox Zero. It, we thought it was Horizon, but it's Zero. We need to Photoshop that Zero onto the logo. Um, and obviously, it's awesome. It's a lot like 64. It's... I, 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 I don't think it's going to disappoint. I mean, series. It, it looks promising. The past few Star Fox games were disappointing or never. Yeah, didn't hold up. But this one, I think it. They took their time and they kind of, They went back to old formula. Yeah. It it takes a lot of uh, stuff from Star Fox Two, like the little chicken walk. <laughs> it looks like a chicken. I don't care. It, it. But it's supposedly the whole E3 was transformation, as Reggie transformed into birds and then you know Miyamoto was a furry yeah. then they talked about Super Mario Maker yeah a lot, a lot of Mario Maker we've been getting Mario Maker for the past like two years a year yeah. and uh, they added amiibo support where if you tap an amiibo character on the Wii U gamepad you get to play as that character it's pretty cool yeah wait wasn't can you play as them in the new Super Mario Bros and stuff like that they only showed from the classic yeah. Only show it for NES. That would be really cool. But, and then, yeah, they all added all that, and then basically we knew most of the stuff. It was just recapping. Yeah. Um, and then they showed some of the stuff that was already shown at the World Championships. We and actually didn't get an indie montage. No, I was, I was waiting for Faggot from Nintendo of America to be like, hey there, let's look at some indies. <laughs> Listen, like, epic techno music, and it's just, I don't know. And the thing that really surprised me and was weird, they talked to some Activision dude, I forgot what his name was, uh, about Skylander Superchargers, and it has Donkey Kong and Bowser Amiibos. But the thing is, you could like change it from Skylander's Amiibo, or Skylander figures, to actual Amiibo, so they could work with Smash and stuff like that, and Skylanders. So like, I don't know. Yeah. And it cool. works only for Wii U. So it's locked to Wii U console. How though? I don't know. Like I, they said, it's only playable on the Wii U. So. They said it's playable on Nintendo. Yeah. So it could be playable on the 64. But <laughs> like, I don't know. That's cool, and the it looks weird. But Bowser is awesome. He has like this hammer thing, and Bowser's one of my favorite Mario characters. So that's cool. We have like what three Bowser amiibos. Speaking of, like, tons of amiibo, we have five Mario amiibos now. We have Smash Mario, uh, Mario Party Mario, Mario Mario, Luigi... Ma <laughs> we have Gold Mario, Silver Mario, and now we have 8-Bit Mario for Mario Maker. That's a lot of Mario. I know the 8-Bit Mario is just going to sell out in two seconds, like, most amiibos. Oh yeah, definitely. Just straight up, like, din 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 it done. It's gone. Also, they did show the leaked footage. They had leaked the Hyrule Warriors uh, 3DS trailer, which actually this one is called Hyrule Warriors Legends. 
and that's it's different because this one was in English, the other one was in Japanese, and it didn't show Legends. So it was a completely different trailer. Well, we got that. It wasn't that surprising because it was leaked like a week before. But also, we basically got Link Between Worlds, the four swords. Three swords, actually. Um, the oh, that makes sense. Triforce Heroes. Oh. God dang it, Nintendo. My, it's not even scrolling down. Uh, it's oh my god, no no no. It, uh, well I'm looking at the bottom screen here, and there's, whoa. I'm gonna put this picture in, and show it. But it has like all these touch screen things, and well basically it's Link Between Worlds kind of style, but with four swords, ish teamwork kind of. And oh, three players. Yeah. Okay, because the whole the mechanic they based off of was like this totem mechanic and they you just hop on each other you can reach stuff and kill enemies that are yeah. too tall for just one link they said uh four people on the totem was too high so they stuck with three which and that's a little weird to me i'm mean, like most multiplayer games are either four player or two player i've never really seen them that link look, looks like he has braces yeah. Uh, in the bottom. Uh, that's yeah. That's, that, that's really weird. Okay, so you have Green Link, Blue Link, and Red Link. But their hair is the same color as their tunics. So it's just... I don't know. And but... They like fire. They do. But there's a big like focus on customization and costumes and stuff in this. Where you get... Like, you could buy costumes that will affect your abilities and, like, upgrade you and stuff like that. And this still is not scrolling down what is happening. Oh my god. It, yeah, my computer just froze, I guess. Um, what what else they showed? They have a uh, Fire Emblem Fates. Oh yeah, they, in America it's called Fire Emblem Fates. They finally translated the trailer uh, that was shown in the April 1st direct for Fire Emblem if I mean both titles make sense because fates you choose one or the other and if is if you do this yeah but it is still not, oh shoot ball sack um and then Shin Megami Tinsumami Gen Gen I can I can never get the title right Shin Megami Tensei cross no 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 F-E Oh yeah, it showed. The logo just said it, it was just like all this Japanese text and then FE, more Japanese text. I've never played a Shin Megami Tensei game. I played Fire Emblem. I like Fire Emblem. I want to get Fire Emblem if fades. But, okay, I think the computer just broke. That's a. Uh, and okay, it's fixed. Um, wait, what was it talking about? Uh, oh yeah, Shin Shim Nipple Tenskami. Um, I don't, it, from the gameplay it barely showed, I didn't even know what was going on. Yeah, most of it was just, like, anime. And some, some Hatsune Miku music sounding like it. Um, also, Jenny Ibun Roke is also coming to 3DS in 2016. Uh, there was a Japanese version of the trailer which, what, what's Jenny <laughs> Ibun Rok. I don't even remember that. I'm reading the list of stuff. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh. And how can we forget? We finally got a new Metroid. Kind of. It's not what you expect. <laughs> oh no. You expected uh, Metroid Prime Wii U or Metroid Side Scroller on 3DS. Nope. We got Metroid Prime Federation Force from Next Level Games. And it is a four-player mission-based game without Samus. Sa no, 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 Samus. It's still called Metroid Prime. Yeah, it, it has Metroid in it, but not Samus. Wait a minute. I'll still get it, yeah. but it. Oh, is it like a full? It, it looks kind of like a maybe twenty-dollar or fifteen-dollar game. I, I hope it's just a downloadable title. That's what it seems like it'd be. Yeah, I mean, it, it didn't seem to have any actual 
single player modes yeah. or anything. Especially Blast Ball, Metroid Prime Blast Ball, the other game. Oh yeah, I didn't understand this like, I guess you shoot a ball into a goal. It's soccer, but with shooting and if you, the ball touches you, you get hurt. And it's in space. It's in space. It, it is. It's space sports. Sport, he <laughs> Uh, more Fire Emblem. We get, uh, lots of Japanese and English. Uh, I think the dub was pretty well done. Uh, <laughs> um, it's, it was pretty much this. Oh no, we got like one extra scene at the end. It showed some kind of bestiality stuff. Where, uh, I forget the names. Um, blue haired girl. All, every single Fire Emblem character is blue haired. Yeah, you, you gotta be more. The, the dancing light blue haired girl was like laying down, she looked like she was hurt, and then some kind of giant dragon thing was over her. I thought it was gonna go down from there, but it wasn't. And then oh. we have uh, more running footage. Of How could we forget? Huh. Loop two seconds of running footage. Go like, dun, 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 while it's just going. <laughs> Every Xenoblade Chronicles X trailer has a character running across the world. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles X is already out in Japan. If you haven't imported it yet, then why not? I mean, seriously. Uh, but it's coming out December 4th in America. And it showed more of like how the battle is. <laughs> the battle music in the background is amazing. He didn't show it though. Uh, it's similar to that of original Xenoblade Chronicles, but different. It has robots. Pretty fucking awesome. Oh! And how could we forget about Animal Crossing? Happy home designer footage for the 3DS. No, we got two Animal Crossing games. We got a Happy Home Designer, which I... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a free game that's coming out, right? Yeah. And then you get the Amiibo cards. I think it's maybe like an $8 or something game like that. But I think it's so boring. I Oh, but how could we forget? I mean, like, I'm forgetting everything, but how can we? I've been saying how could we forget... We cannot forget any of this. Yeah. Hey, you know how a lot of people wanted Animal Crossing for Wii U. Oh, we did it. Amiibo Festival. There we go. We, we get Mario Party with Animal Crossing characters. It's an Amiibo game. Animal Crossing has just become Amiibo Fest. You need Amiibo cards for Happy Home Designer. And this one, you need at least four Amiibo to play the game. Each, char each player needs to have their own amiibo to tap on the thing, and they play as that character. So if you don't have amiibo, which is most likely true, have fun. Seriously. It's coming out October 16th. Yoshi's Woolly World. Yes. Still the most adorable game ever. Um, you mix Yoshi's Story and Kirby's Epic Yarn, two of the most adorable games in the world. You get this. Which can make puppies die. This is just adorable. Uh, oh, but yeah, the Animal Crossing are coming, like, in the holidays. Uh, which seems like Animal Crossing is all festive, so they gotta do it around that time. Um, Yoshi's Woolly World didn't really show anything new besides the girl talking about knitting amiibo. Uh, and it showed Samus. We did get Samus in this direct. It showed Samus as a costume for Yarn Yoshi. Um, oh. Stupid watch game. Yeah. Yo Kai Watch. From level 5. Uh, what happened to level 1 through 4? I don't know. Um, it's in America during the holiday. What is this game? I don't know. It looked like. Supposedly it's supposed to be the new Pokemon, but it has watches. And you said it's like Pokemon Ranger? Yeah. You spin song. things. I I don't know. It's it's one of those games where it's like anime into western. I didn't seem amused by it at all. Yeah, I wasn't impressed. It, it looked boring. I'm not a fan of the JRPGs though that much, but it was also we got some we got Miyamoto and wait oh my god I forgot who else it was but. He was talking about his original designs from the first Super Mario Brothers on the NES, 
and how he used graph paper to design the levels and he used enhanced versions of those tools for like to design the levels I, there's no script on this whatsoever um but wow and yeah, then, so pretty much what he said was this game super mario maker is pretty much the tool that he used to make the mario games yeah like, we we get to be shikiro miyamoto we are jesus and we get to do all this on September 11th for the Nintendo Wii U. Also, Mario Tennis. Ultra Smash. Yeah, uh, Mario Tennis Smash Brothers. We got one match with Toad, Mario, Peach, and Bowser. Yeah. It had like a... The giant mechanic. So... You get like a super yeah. mushroom and turn big and you make skid marks on the ground. It's a sports game. That's all. It's a Mario sports spinoff. I'm not going to be hyped for it. And now our other Mario spinoff. We have another Mario and Luigi game. But this is awesome. Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. Two Mario RPGs mixed into one. It's pretty awesome. I, I didn't think we would ever get a crossover like this. Now all we need is Mario and Luigi Paper Jam RPG. Never played Mario RPG. I, it looked boring to me. People say it's like one of the best games ever. It just it, looks it boring. Really good it, it looks boring. I'm not a fan of those styled RPGs. Um, Square Enix, which I believe we're missing the Square Enix conference right now. But um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Direct, and then no, 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 no. We need to get into goods. <laughs> no, uh, still on Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. Uh, I think it's cool how you have like the different Microsoft security is damn it. You have the different like universes and you have the Mario Luigi universe, then you have the Paper Mario universe. Seeing them like kinda interact was really cool. I like that. So like both of the Bowsers get mad at each other when fight or and you can you it's I think it mostly like follows the style of the Mario and Luigi games. Yeah. It, it's it's a Mario and Luigi game, just with Paper Mario characters. Oh, it's Mario and Luigi cross Paper Mario and Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know if I'll be getting it because I'm not a huge fan of either series. I try to get into Paper Mario. I can't. It's. Yeah, I haven't I haven't had a Mario and Luigi game since the original Superstar Saga on Game Boy Advance. So. Adrian has Dream Team. He let me play it. it it was it was weird. I like the platforming parts. Yeah, I, I haven't had one since the original, so I might as well pick this one up. He used to have Bowser's Inside Story. That one was. Uh, I I don't like those games. I don't know. I'm not a fan. Yeah, but it's coming out in the spring 2016, which is a while from now. Yeah, uh, that's a little less than just a whole year. Still, so it's, it's a while. Wait, it's, it's still in development. Yeah. Metroid is still in development. Like. Early development, name not yeah. final. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it that wraps up E3. Yeah, and it, Reggie came out and said some stuff about Mario. The, said how he's the most famous character. He said he's basically yeah. Jesus. And, oh, video games. Yeah. Uh, there's. It was actually really short kind of disappointing for me. I mean, I had my hype moments, but I really expected more. Um, yeah, I, 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 it's, It just wasn't that good because the stuff was leaked before the whole Hyrule Warriors the, thing. And then the, the Sunday Direct by Sakurai when Ryu and Roy were leaked early on. I hate leaks. I mean, yeah. it's cool to know what's happening before. So you're like, ooh, this is going to come out to all your friends. But seriously, you could have waited a day. He had to dig through the files, find everything, and post it all over the internet. I go on, I think it was on Twitter, and the, all three posts from the first of feed is just Ryu, Roy, Ryu, Roy, Street Fighter stages, all that. I'm like, seriously, spoiler warning. Yeah. But that pretty much wraps it up. We I still can't get over the braces. He has cheerleading. <laughs> Put it back up. Um. 
<laughs> this picture also needs to go up right now. It's uh, what Reggie was doing again. Uh, that's pretty much it for E3. Thank you for watching this. And there will be a link if you haven't watched the E3 digital event yet. Why not? It's Nintendo. Seriously. Also, wait. Is t tomorrow's the Capcom one. If there's anything good at that, I'll, I'll talk some stuff about it. Metroid Prime Federation Force. <laughs> it's not Metroid. It's Metroid. It's not Metroid. No sense. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to Jesus Brawl Gaming. And um, check out some other videos. Uh, my dog.